Well, it's a modest rally, but it's keeping the Dow Industrials close to 17,100. A week ago, who would have thought? Look at United Airlines. It has forecast higher profits in the future, that is, of course. Leading, it's the leading stock in the S&P 500 right now. That's a 6.5% gain for United Airlines. How's this for a proposition? The success of Bernie Sanders is forcing Hillary to go way out on the left. Well, I think we can mostly agree on that, can't we? Leslie Marshall, <laughs> uh, Democrat, on the left herself, you would agree with that, wouldn't you? I agree that not only is it Bernie Sanders, but the potential threat of Joe Biden running and also distancing herself from the president to a degree and from her husband, former president. Well, that's very interesting. Mm. So she's off and running on the left. Mm -hmm. I think that that might make her unelectable. What say you? No, I don't think so. You know, I was looking at the uh, breakdown, and you know, both parties have a breakdown. You know, within them, they're not just Democrats and Republicans. I mean, there's the uh, you know real liberal faction of the Democrats. There's the progressive. There are the moderates, and you know, they have their categories. And the socialists. And, and yes. And the yes, communists. Yes. And the Trotskyites. <laughs> I mean, they're all in there. The Marxists. Yes. All they're in all there. in there. Well, for for Hillary, uh, first of all. She is not as centrist as people perceive her to be, quite frankly, when you look at her record. I think a lot of people right, just look at not. Iraq, okay? And a lot of people do uh, have that guilt by association with, you know, her husband, right. former President Clinton. Um, look what happened in California, okay? okay. In, ca look. in California, she's just lost some ground. She can't afford, with over 400 delegates in California that are going to be determined by the primary, to lose this ground. She needs to distance herself from Joe Biden and the president on trade deals like TPP. Uh, Vice President Biden has huge support from unions. She needs that support if he does or doesn't get into the game. And Bernie Sanders' rise in California shows that you know, she needs these people. I can't tell you, Stuart, how many people tell me, I'm going to vote for Bernie in the primary, I'll vote for Hillary in the general. I and I that. said, do you realize yes. that yes. if you all support Bernie in the primary, <laughs> there may be no Hillary in the general? And, and well, most liberals think that he's not electable on a, on a national mm -hmm. level in a general election. Can Hillary come back to the center if she wins all the primaries and is the nominee? Because that's a real tough job, isn't it? You've gone way out there on the left in the primaries, and then you're expected to come all the way back to the center field in the actual election. Can she do that? You want honesty, complete honesty? I think conservatives will like this. She's a Clinton. Yes, she can. But not just that, she's a politician. <laughs> and I think all politicians uh, can do that. Um, you know, right now, look who she's speaking to with regard to immigration, with regard to trade. Uh, it's very, uh, it's not just very calculated who she's distancing herself from, but who she's trying to lock in. Uh, Bernie Sanders not only increased in California, but with Hispanics as well. If the election is held on the grounds of economic performance and we need growth, Hillary Clinton loses hands down. But we're out of time. I disagree. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Leslie, what a shame that we're so out of time. Whoops. <laughs> Just getting running. It's a sort of technique I have, you know what I mean? All right, Hillary, um, uh, Leslie, thank you very much for joining us. Thank we do you. appreciate thank it. You. Thank you.